turn back the clock now for a look at a centenary exhibition in London of, yes, clocks. Entitled Pendulum to Atom, there's no better illustration of the remarkable development of high-precision timekeeping over the last hundred years. Here one can see anything from a 16th century clock movement to an atomic clock, with plenty of interest between times. Such as this 1810 Congreve rolling ball clock, which looks like a forerunner of something from an amusement arcade. Yet that steel ball is calculated to roll 12,500 miles a year. Colonel Quill, CBE, DSO, advisor to the worshipful company of clockmakers, examines the 1824 orary clock belonging to the Queen, who is also the owner of this 1650 travelling watch of King William IV. From Japan comes this sword clock and a striking watch. Note that these clocks are pre-1873 when the Japanese had their own time system. The day being divided into two periods of dusk to dawn and dawn to dusk, so that the time varied according to the season. A watch made in Paris in 1810 for blind people. The diamond arrow being pushed round till it stops, so that the time can be felt. Modern versions of the traditional grandfather clock are still made today by craftsmen like Harry Brooks here, but they cost £565 each, considerably more than this attractive youngster. Undoubtedly one of the most famous, the GPO speaking clock. At the third stroke, it will be 1.59 and 10 seconds. Less interesting to the students of horology, perhaps, but something the women make a beeline for, the valuable, this one has a mink strap, delicate jeweled watches. We won't spoil the illusion by telling you the prices, however. Now the most modern exhibit of all, the atomic clock, the world's most precise measuring instrument, with an accuracy to one second in 300 years. Here, liquid nitrogen to cool the bean chamber and lower the pressure is poured in by Mr. Eric Hope, senior experimental officer at the National Physical Laboratory, who was responsible for the electronics aspect of the clock. Well, fancy having to wind this thing up every night before letting the cat out. One ingenious clock no one has any time for, the parking meter. Why don't these inventors mind their own business?